Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's March 17th all day, and these historical events occurred on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day in history. In 432, St. Patrick, aged about 16, is captured by Irish pirates from his home in Great Britain and taken as a slave to Ireland, where he escaped but returned to convert the Irish to Christianity. By the time of his death, on this exact date, in 461, he had established monasteries, churches, and schools. Good job, Pat. Speaking of St. Patrick's, in 1756, St. Patrick's Day is first celebrated in New York City at the Crown and Thistle Tavern. On this date in 1776, the British Redcoats were forced to evacuate Boston after the Patriots had built significant fortifications with cannons on Dorchester Heights overlooking Boston. Realizing their fate, over 11,000 British troops and loyalists sailed to Nova Scotia. See ya. Speaking of the revolution and the British, in 1778, Britain declares war on France again, again and again, 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 again due to the French alliance with the United States. In 1898, John Philip Holland achieves a successful test run for the first modern submarine off Staten Island, submerging for one hour and 40 minutes. And he wore a suit, tie, and a, and a hat. I mean, if you're going to be in a submarine, you might as well do it in style, right? In 1905, Albert Einstein finishes his scientific paper detailing his quantum theory of light, one of the foundations for modern physics. Do you understand any of this? Yeah, me neither. Still, I guess it's important. In 1930, construction begins on the Empire State Building, the world's first skyscraper of 100 plus stories on Fifth Avenue in New York City. By the way, that was a project that was started and finished on time and under budget. So was the Golden Gate Bridge. In 1987, IBM releases PC DOS version 3.3. Who cares? That's awesome. And in 1995, the U.S. approves the first chickenpox vaccine by American Company. Sorry, kid, you're not going to get a week off of school for chickenpox like I did when I was a kid. Well, when it comes to a battle of wits, you'll have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out those comments below for even more March 17th, St. Patrick's Day history.